welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna work on this piece. So if you've been following me for a little bit and if you're on my TikTok and all that other stuff, I did a short video of me blending the nightstand that goes with this dresser. So we're gonna do a mermaid-ish blend. So I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to do, it's not quite ombre because they're different colors, but I'm gonna show you how to blend from the top to the bottom with like colors. So we're going to transform this. It does have a mirror on it, but we're gonna transform this. We're gonna put some silver gilding on it. We're gonna change the hardware. And I apologize for the birds, but I have a lot of trees by my house. So, I mean, there could be worse sounds, right? So we are going to start on this. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll get all the latest videos. Everything that I use in this video is gonna be in the description below. You just click on those little links and it takes you right to where you need to be to purchase those products. So, they are affiliate links, but they don't cost you anything to use them and it just helps support my small business. So it's just a kind of a thank you and I always appreciate your support. So let's get started with this cute little dresser. We are gonna have to prep it first. It was a little girl's dresser and so the top is a little bit rough. If you guys have kids, you know that stuff gets stuck behind their dresser drawers. And I noticed that this dresser drawer won't close. And so I looked behind there and there is clothes back here. So we're gonna take this drawer off because they don't pull off regularly. They're on a track that you have to screw off. So we're gonna take this drawer off, get all everything that might be stuck behind it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this really well because it is really dirty. So I'm gonna clean it with my Dixie Bells White Lightning and we'll probably have to sand the top because it's got some like glitter glue or, you know, <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so I hope you guys can see the top of this. We've got some deep scrapes. We've got some glitter glue over here. We've got a sticker. So I'm actually gonna remove this sticker by hand because it comes off easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my surf prep. I'm gonna use just the sand sheet, the sanding sheet. I'm gonna start with an 80 grit first and see what we can do with that first. I am gonna end up painting the top of this so I wanna smooth it out as much as I possibly can because I'm gonna paint over it. Okay, so I've actually pulled this out into my driveway so I don't have to hook up the hose. So you can use your surf prep sander with or without the hose. Obviously, if you're in your house, you want the hose, but if you're outside, you don't have to use it. You can just use it like a sander without a hose. Okay, so I've sanded this down, okay? And obviously there's plywood underneath here, which is not a big deal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smooth this out so that way I know that the surface doesn't have any scratches left. I had to sand it down underneath the factory finish because the scratches were so deep. So it's really easy with my surf prep, I was able to do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it. Remember, I stripped it down, went down to the wood with the 80 grit. So I'm gonna use a 120 grit, then a 220 grit, and if it's soft enough, I'll stay there. If it's not, then I'll go a little bit higher. Also, because there's a factory finish on this, I could slick stick this, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna scuff sand it, and that way it'll give something the paint the, to bite to. So I'm gonna smooth out the top, scuff sand it, clean it really well, and then it'll be ready for paint. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions, but somehow it came to an end. Okay, so I have sanded and cleaned this piece and it is ready for paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. The top color is gonna be amethyst. And then the amethyst is gonna work its way into blueberry, into the golf. And lastly, at the very bottom, we will have mermaid tail. So what I'm gonna do is do a base coat first and I'm going to figure out where I want each color. 
So I'm gonna do my amethyst, my blueberry, my golf, my mermaid tail. And I'm just doing a base coat of these colors. I'm not blending yet. I'm doing my base coat of where I want these colors to be and where I want them to blend at. Okay, everybody, so I, it's the next day, and what I did is I put two coats on each color, just so I knew that I had even coverage. There's a lot of detail on this, and so I wanted to make sure that I got all underneath it, and around it, in the drawers. So the next step is gonna be for me to actually blend. So I'm gonna blend this, and I think the last piece that I did, I worked from top to bottom. And so I'm gonna work from bottom to top to just show you that it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to use different verbiage maybe so that if something didn't click with you last time, maybe it'll click with you this time, but this is mermaid blend. That's how we do it. All right, so I'm gonna apologize now for the birds and for the car noises I'm down in my garage. But I have a brush for my mermaid tail. I have a brush for my golf. So this is mermaid tail, this is golf. I've got a neutral brush and then I have a Mr. Bottle and I have some paper towels. So there's two coats of paint on each of these colors. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go right here and where this blending line is, I'm going to wet the paint. Okay, so that was Mermaid Tail and now I'm going to wet the golf. I'm not super worried about if they touch each other. Okay, so the next thing is, is since it's warm out, it's summertime for most people, you need to keep this damp. You don't want it to be soaking, but you also don't want it to be dry. The key to blending stuff is to make sure that both colors are wet. So I'm just gonna give it one fine mist. I'm gonna start down in my mermaid tail and I'm gonna kind of work my way up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in circles to help blend that. So I'm gonna go into some circles. I'm going to do some vertical, go back with the horizontal, work my way down and up. Okay, now I'm gonna switch colors, but I'm gonna mist it again. I'm gonna put a little bit of paint on here. I'm gonna start up here and start going down here. Now some colors blend better than other ones, so you don't have to work them, not nearly as much. So like blue, the next color blend is probably gonna be more difficult. So I went horizontal. I'm gonna do some little circles just for good measure. And then what I'm gonna do, because these have blended pretty well together, I'm gonna take my neutral brush. I'm gonna mist that. I don't want it too wet. I'm gonna start with a horizontal and just kind of lightly guys, not super hard, lightly with a flick of the wrist, go over that and it's blended. I'm gonna take my neutral brush, I'm gonna clean it off with some paper towels. I'm going to do it one more time, go from, from the bottom up to the top now because I went from the top to the bottom. And I think that it's pretty well blended. Now there's a little bit of a lighter color right here. If you don't want that, just take your mermaid tail and just go over that. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's just the wet mermaid tail and you have to wait till it dries to really see. So that's kind of how we blend it. I see this part right here is not as blended as I want. So take your neutral brush and kind of go like that. 
and it will help. So that is how we're gonna blend our mermaid tail and our golf together. Okay, so next is we're gonna blend our golf into our blueberry. So I only did this part right here. So the side's not blended and this side's not blended. So we're just, I just wanna focus on how to really show you how to blend. I don't wanna show you how to blend the entire piece because it's the same process all the way across. So now what we have is we have our brush for the golf. We've got our brush for blueberry. And we're going to need a different neutral brush because these are two different colors. So the neutral brush that we had before, we're not using that. So set that aside. I'm gonna get new paper towel and you want your mister bottle. Okay. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dampen the paint right here. Okay. And then, open our blueberry up. We're going to go in and dampen our blueberry. This is a brand new brush, so sometimes the brand new brushes you get a little bit of bristles. Okay, so we've dampened our blueberry. So now what we're gonna do is the same exact thing we did before. We're gonna mist that, not too much, put a little bit of paint and kind of work my way up into that blueberry. Now, some people were like, I'm surprised that these colors blended. Well, they're the same color family. Blueberry's blue and, and, and the golf is green. They're, they're both cool colors. So that's the golf going up into blueberry. And if you want to go up a little bit more, I'd get some more water and push it up a little bit more if you want. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our blueberry down into that transition line. So we're gonna mist it again, take our blueberry, kind of start from up here. We're gonna do some circles. I live in a farming area, so that was a tractor. And kind of go down into it if you want. We'll do some blueberry, a little brush of blueberry over on this. Okay, I'm gonna take my neutral brush and see if we can kind of blend it. So we're gonna mist it. We're gonna take this neutral brush and we're going to go horizontal with it. Again, these colors are slightly different than each other. And you wanna make sure you get any bristles out. I'm gonna go in circles. vertical. This is kind of a weird transition line. And this will probably be one of those ones. You can get a little bit of your golf and kind of work it right there. Get your neutral brush. Work it into each other. This transition line might be one of those ones where you're going to have to wait for it to dry, but you can see that it's blended pretty nicely right there. So we're gonna move on to up here and then we'll, we'll move on to the blueberry and amethyst and then we'll come back if we need to blend more, if it doesn't look blended, but we've gotta wait for this to dry. So you normally you have to wait for it to dry. So like down here, it's dried and it looks really nice. Sometimes after it dries, you realize you've missed a spot. So after it dries, we will um, go back and look here and kind of see what we have to change. So next, is gonna be the blueberry and amethyst. All right, so now we're gonna do blueberry and amethyst. It's starting to dry a little bit. It's a little bit wet, but it's looking good. So we're gonna do blueberry and amethyst. I've kept my blueberry brush. I'm actually gonna keep the same neutral brush because it has blues on it. There's not mermaid tail, so I'm hoping that it doesn't, um, I'm hoping that it doesn't cross contaminate. We're gonna have a brush for our amethyst. Again, you want a paper towel and you want your mister bottle. So we're gonna start down. We're going to wet this paint line. I'm gonna go up just a little bit because I don't like how that just stops right there. I don't know who painted this and what they were thinking. So we're going to wet the blueberry, kind of go up into this, cover up some of that amethyst. 
amethyst down here. Sometimes I forget what you can see on the camera, what angle it is. Okay, so now we're going to wet that amethyst. It's okay that they're overlapping. I'm not concerned about it. I just want that to be wet at least. Okay, so I'm going to go up with the blueberry into the amethyst first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist that. I'm going to dab a little bit of blueberry and I'm just going to kind of work my way up into that amethyst. Now these two colors work really well together because they're both cool shades. So it just makes another, the blueberry and the amethyst make just a prettier shade of purple, like a pretty light, almost like a lavender shade of purple. And it's hot here, so I need a little bit more water. So I'm gonna go into circles. If you can see how I'm moving my brush, I'm not like, I'm kind of going like this with it. One, because there's a, this is kind of like a lip, but I'm just kind of going back and forth to mix it up. And again, this blueberry right here, it's gonna look like a light purple. And if you feel like there's too much purple on your blueberry brush, what you can do is you can just kind of squirt it off and go like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to get a little bit of amethyst. We're gonna spray that, get a little bit of our amethyst, and we're just gonna kind of do circles to lighten up. What we're trying to do is soften that up. Okay, now we're gonna take our neutral brush, and hopefully it doesn't have too much green on it, and we're going to spray it, and we're going to go horizontal with it. We might have to play around a little bit. When you're going with a light color and a dark color, sometimes it gets a little finicky. So sometimes your blending might not stop there. You may need to go up into the piece a little bit, maybe go down with it, some purple a little bit. You're gonna have to play around with the blending a little bit. So you see how I pulled the purple down a little bit? So what you can do is you can take your blueberry brush and kind of just go like that, and that helps at least blend it right there, okay? So, you know, your, your purple may go down a little bit further, which is kind of cool, it gives it a cool effect. So you've got your neutral brush, so let's say you want some more purple right there, that's okay. Don't be afraid to, you see how there's purple? So don't be afraid to spray that a little bit. Take your blueberry brush and kind of, it kind of adds a cool like shading techniques, you know. So there's dimension of color all over the piece versus just stop, stop, stop. So you got the purple that goes down and if you feel like it goes down a little bit too much into the gulf, you can take your brush that has the gulf and kind of flick it up, okay? Oops, sorry, let me show you. So if you feel like that purple goes down in the golf a little bit too much, you can kind of flick it up and you see right there, and you can spray it, take your neutral brush, and just kind of blend it. So that way the color is kind of all over the place and you're not limited. So like you can even push the purple down into the golf or down into the mermaid tail if you want, and just use the same concept of blending that I show you. You just use the two brushes, use a neutral brush to kind of smooth it out. It's not really, I think we overthink blending way too much. Okay, so let's see, we need a little bit more blending here. So we're going to mist it. This is my neutral brush again. And I'm just gonna kind of go down, horizontal, vertical. And if you can see that there's some purple going down into that blueberry, which is totally fine. It's gonna look cool. You can get a little bit lighter purple going up into this. And we're just going to, this is our neutral brush. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my amethyst brush and put a little bit, and it's already wet enough. I don't wanna get it too wet. So I'm gonna start up here in the amethyst, kind of work my way down. and that is blended, okay? So again, it's 
it's wet. So we're gonna have to let it dry and come back and kind of assess it and look and see what it looks like once it's dry and if it's actually blended or if there's parts that are wet or whatever. So we're gonna let it dry and then we'll come back and look okay, at so it. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. Sometimes this camera makes it look a little di bit different, but it's pretty well dried and I'm pretty happy with the blend. I think it looks nice. So this side is not blended and this side is blended. So I am going to continue. I'm gonna do the same thing that we did on this side over on this side. But we're gonna speed it up. I'm not gonna go over it and show you again. We're just gonna watch it. But I, li I like it. Mermaid, Ariel. All right, so I am done with this dresser. What I did is I blended the rest of it the way that I showed you, and then I put some Redesign with Prima Decor Wax. This is Shining Star on there. So you could use silver or gold or whatever, and I just used the original hardware because it was crystal knobs and it had the silver base. So this is the piece. And there it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it helps with your blending. So this is the mermaid blending dresser. You could use whatever colors you want, but this is the mermaid dresser. All right guys, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell so you get late, all the latest videos. All the products I use will be in the description below. So click on those links if you wanna purchase those products and recreate this look. And thank you guys so much. Happy creating. And until next time, I will see you later.